Hey, 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 Libra. This is your sacred scribe here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. This is going to be a reading for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This won't resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Right down below there, Libra, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. And please utilize that link as there are many tarot card scammers and impersonators running amok within the community. <clears throat> and also know that you will always see my face in a reading if I do one for you and uh, receive an unlisted link that will be yours to utilize forever and ever. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit the notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, Libra. We have the Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Sun card, and the Seven of Wands. Hmm, a new cycle is beginning for you, Libra. An independent, abundant, feeling good about yourself cycle, though. I feel like I'm feeling balanced from this Nine of Pentacles as well. Okay, I don't know what that means. They're saying near and far. I don't know what that means, though. So near and far I don't know if that is related to balance not sure <clears throat> okay so clarify the nine of pentacles the universe five of swords be careful of your choices at this time Take the time to really think about it and leave your ego out of the choice if you can. <clears throat> Ten of Swords. Okay, there's something that is ending. Something that you're letting go of. Again, again, try to keep your ego out of whatever it is that's ending. Don't let it get in the way of any decisions related to this ending. Because this is so nice over here. This new beginning. <clears throat> okay, let's get a kipper for this one. And a kipper for this row. Bad health. Let me give me one more. Courthouse. <clears throat> so some of you could be dealing with a court situation. With the bad health. I feel that this is a warning from spirit. That's what I feel with the bad health. All right. This five of swords energy, if you allow the, your ego to get in the way, I feel like it could affect your health. It, it's going to, they just said spiral out of control. And it is related to decision making. So this five of swords is related to the bad health. This could have to do, the decision making could have to do with the courthouse. And that could be anything. Could be a divorce, could be, <clears throat> could be anything. Okay, Libra, let's go and see what this Five of Wands is about. What's this Five of Wands about? I do feel like you've got a lot of happiness coming towards you. Eight of Swords. You don't know it. You don't see it. But there's a lot of people that are interested in you. I feel like you're too focused on finding your balance and creating from there. You may be struggling inward. But you're wanting a new start. A, this new fresh start. And you're wanting to find your passion. So I feel like you're sort of blinded to people, places, and things that may be interested in you. So know that you don't have to be in this self-imposed prison here, Libra, with the Eight of Swords. 
because what you're about to create is something great, something passionate. I feel like you're going to push forward into some sort of passion. This could be work. This could be love. But I'm not feeling that you can see these people that are interested in you. Tell me about this um, second row. What can you tell me about the second row for Libra? Courtship. Yep. If you let yourself out of this self-imposed prison, I feel like you will definitely <clears throat> be able to see these people that are interested in you. Now, it is more than one because we do have the lovers, so you may need to make a choice. All right? But set yourself free, Libra. You don't need that. Nine of Cups, Justice. There you are. Oh, some of you, this could be a twin. That is a twin flame card of mine. But there is some sort of decision. You're going to take your time with this decision. It could be an earth sign as well coming towards you. They could be younger. Okay, one of these people here. Um, could also be somebody from childhood that you knew. They're saying that you played with. So to me, them saying it like that is like children, right? Which is in the sun card. So somebody that you possibly played with as a child, like just for fun, maybe in this mix here. But one of these people is your wish. And you did manifest it. So let's get a kipper for this. Again, we have justice. Could be dealing with a divorce. But it's also this decision on these people that are interested in you. Tell me about this third row. Men, male. Yeah, you're trying to figure out. Now, this is just masculine energy. <clears throat> Who are you going to choose? Take your time. There is no need to rush, Libra. Okay, but you want to make sure that you're you're setting yourself free from this prison because I don't feel that you're going to see it if you do. Remember, this is potential energy. You've got to utilize it the best way you can. But we all have free will. Ten of Pentacles, Princess of Pentacles. Clarifying the Seven of Wands. Yeah, you've got a lot of pseudos coming at you, Libra. You're a little bit guarded. And you know you have to walk away from some of them. There is commitment here, marriage, abundance. So Libra, what I'm getting is you may be walking out of one relationship and into another. <clears throat> okay? But you know that you need to walk away from all of these other people that are interested. And you've got your guard up. You will take your time. Perhaps you're dating for a while before you make this decision. But I do feel you've got the past and present coming up for your choices here. Okay. All right. So tell me about this last row. Journey. Some of you may be taking a trip, possibly meeting somebody on this journey. Hmm. This, this is also symbolic of a new fresh start, which I also get, right, with this universe and nine of pentacles. So I feel like this new journey is positive. This new journey is fresh and abundant, especially with the Ten of Pentacles here and the journey coming over it. So there's a lot of abundance here, Libra. A lot of um, positive aspects to guide you here. Oh, let's get an advice card here. You have the Six of Wands and the Princess of Wands. Go after your dreams. Go after your desires. Be adventurous, okay? Yes, you'll have to overcome obstacles, but it's all going to be worth it in the end. You will be victorious. Advice for Libra. Ancestral wisdom. We are your ancestors and we love you. We walked the earth many years before you. We ask you at this point in time to learn and grow from our past experiences. You are our legacy, and we will keep on helping you as we continue to evolve here in the spirit world. So call on your ancestors for guidance, for help, especially when it comes to these decisions, okay? 
and this letting go process. All right, Libra, let's get a angel number message for you. What angel? Oh, look at this. 888. I am abundant. As you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. So you are abundant, Libra, okay? Know it and be it in all ways, all right? All right, Libra, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Info's down in the description box below. Please use that link. If there are many tower card scammers about the community and know that you will always see my face in a tower card reading as well as receive an unlisted link from me. Uh, that will lead you to your video on YouTube and you will have access to that forever and ever. So you have a great day, Libra, and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.